JINR is an international intergovernmental organization that is located in the Moscow region in the city Dubna. Scientific discoveries that have been made here allowed the scientists all over the world to learn more about fundamental properties of matter. The acknowledgement of JNR contribution was expressed in the decision of the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry to entitle element 105 of the Mendeleev table Dubnium and element 114 Fluorovium in honor of the Laboratory of Nuclear Reactions and its founder, academician Florov. A half of discoveries, about 40, in nuclear physics were made in JNR. Dubna scientists were the first to synthesize new superheavy elements with the atomic numbers from 113 to 118. Physics facilities, the heavy iron cyclotrons U400 and U400M serve these aims. Record beam parameters are achieved at them. The factory for super heavy elements is under construction now. It will allow scientists to obtain further results. They plan to get element 120. The laboratory of high energy physics operates the unique superconducting accelerator of nuclei and heavy ions, the nuclatron, which is the only installation of this type in Europe and Asia. The collider complex Nika is developed on its basis. It is called a younger sister of the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. The task of future experiments is to generate conditions similar to those that existed at the time of the birth of our universe. The unique pulsed neutron reactor IBR2 is used for research in neutron nuclear physics and condensed matter physics. Physicists, biologists, geophysicists and material science specialists use it. The reactor is called a Windu Itunana World. Applied research is actively developed with this facility. And the proton accelerator, the Phasatron, is used in medical purposes for ray therapy. Thus, it can be seen that the Institute Laboratories hold theoretical and experimental research in elementary particle physics, nuclear physics and condensed matter physics. JNR has powerful high productive computing environment that is integrated into the world computer network through high-speed communication channels. JNR comprises seven laboratories, each being comparable with a large institute in the scale and scope of investigations performed. JNR has 18 member states. It collaborates with 700 research centers and universities in 63 countries. The cooperation expands year by year. A big group of scientists from India visited Dubna to discuss prospects for cooperation between scientific centers of India and JNR. The participants of the event expressed mutual interest in all trends of research at JNR laboratories. Indian physicists tackle a wide range of scientific tasks. Over 20 representatives of largest national institutes, centers of fundamental research, universities of Delhi, Calcutta, Mumbai and other cities took part in the forum. This uh, meeting, the forum, is for a future collaboration with the Joint Institute of Nuclear Research and Indian scientists. There is already collaboration at some level, but we want to raise it to a completely new dimension. There are historical connections between the erstwhile Soviet Union and India going back many decades. We just want to make sure that it is strengthened. The more important things would perhaps be nuclear physics, particle physics. India has a major neutro neutrino physics experiment coming up and support from here would be most welcome. And also Indian scientists would like to use the many facilities at this institute in nuclear physics, in condensed matter physics, and in particle physics. We've had postdocs and students coming here. We want it to be enlarged on a large scale. Now we start a very interesting part of our work when a big group of Indian scientists has arrived in Dubna, representatives of the Embassy of India, the Russian Ministry of Science and Education, 
In September, we are going to hold the next forum, when a bigger delegation will come to Russia and stay in Dubna for two days. I hope we will then move forward in more active cooperation with our Indian colleagues. The forum was held under the support of two embassies. During the meeting, the second secretary of the political department of the Embassy of India in Russia stressed the fact that the Indian side would like to promote the cooperation to develop scientific research in India. It will facilitate the consolidation of the country and improve its security. There are many spheres where Indian scientists could collaborate with JNR. The diplomatic contacts between our countries have existed for 67 years. Now there is a multi-purpose long-term program of cooperation in science, technology and innovations up to 2020. The aim of the forum was to find new promising forms of cooperation with JINR. Concerning our relations with India, that is our long-standing strategic partner, besides the people's diplomacy, political and economic relations that are very strong, our contacts in science now become most important. Bangalore is a well-known place to implement practical and fundamental tasks. I think such cooperation in the format of JINR is greatly successful, not only for Russia and India, but for the whole world. In addition, I would like to stress once again the fact of our cooperation in the BRICS frame. BRICS is a group of five rapidly developing countries – Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Indian scientists are working successfully today at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research. My field is called quantum chromodynamics. Basically, we study the internal structure of proton, or basically we call it nucleon. nucleon. So in, inside nucleon we have some particles called quarks or gluons, um, and uh, we study the properties of this thing. Uh, so we have a definite theory, I mean very well-established theory for that. It's called quantum chromodynamics. But it's a very difficult theory to study, and um, basically we don't know how to solve it by hand, by mathematical equations. So you, we use computers to solve the problem. Uh, we have the theory, then we use the theory to write computational uh, program uh, to solve it. So my research is mostly computational as well as theoretical also. The attention of Indian physicists, both theorists and experimenters, is attracted to the main projects of the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research. One of them is the accelerator complex NICA, that will allow scientists in the nearest future to search for and study new states of baryonic matter. The experiments will reveal the origin of quark binding in nucleons. The research in this field will study mechanisms of symmetry breaking that will explain the riddle of the antimatter absence in our part of the universe. Not accidentally, the project NICA is defined as the flagship one. Its implementation will mean the development of a unique complex of linear accelerators, superconducting accelerator rings and experimental facilities based on the most advanced technology. In contrast to the LHC that is aimed at beam maximum energy, the Nika Collider is to provide maximum baryonic density of the excited nuclear matter. The conditions can be achieved in heavy ion collisions in the strictly defined energy range. I've only been once to India. I visited the Institute for High Energy Physics in Mumbai and saw that high energy physics is well developed in India. First of all, they cooperate very actively with CERN, the USA and Germany. I hope we'll also find mutual interests in our cooperation on the NICA project. The guests from India were acquainted not only with the project NICA, but also with the unique detectors that are produced by specialists of the Laboratory of High Energy Physics for the experiment at CERN. Obviously, our task is to show what we can do and what we study. In this way, we hope to attract the interest in our Indian colleagues to cooperate further. Now they are shown drift tubes that operate in vacuum, 
This research is the responsibility of our group and our laboratory in the big collaboration NA62 that prepares a big experiment in CERN to search for a very rare decay of the charged K ion into neutrino and antineutrino. The Indian scientists were greatly impressed by their visit to the laboratory of nuclear reactions, where super heavy elements are synthesized. My institute name is uh, Punjab University. I'm working there uh, as a theoretician and I uh, have seen a number of laboratories, experimental laboratories and found uh, so much interesting. And I met with uh, Andrew. Uh, and the source of inspiration basically for my work is Oganesh and I want to meet him personally. My sir is arranging for that meeting. Nice to see here the place. Uh, uh, local hospitality is so good uh, and the uh, arrangement, everything is so good. The results of research in the field of superheavy element synthesis are shown in the Mendeleev periodic table. And it's only the beginning, see the Indian scientists. Our colleagues are very much impressed by accelerator methods in the studies conducted in the laboratory, such as superheavy nuclei synthesis, properties of light nuclei. The latest results were the discovery of six new elements. The generation events and decays of such nuclei were registered as elements from 114 to 118. These are the heaviest nuclei under study now on the border of matter existence. This research is guided by academician Yuri Oganisyan. The guests from India visited the laboratory of neutron physics. The fast neutron pulsed reactor IBR2 operates here. It's a unique installation of such rank in JINR member states. The reactor is equipped with a complex of spectrometers for a wide range of research in topical trends of condensed matter physics with neutron diffraction methods. An extensive user program operates at the reactor spectrometers. It allows interested scientists to have time to use the spectrometers and obtain support of leading specialists of the laboratory. We use this spectrometer to determine the magnetic and nuclear structure multilayer samples and the surface structure. I see that our guests show interest. Some of them are familiar with the topic as they ask quite professional questions. The research program of the Laboratory of Theoretical Physics presents a wide range of theoretical and mathematical physics trends that give big opportunities to develop cooperation. I work in uh, uh, fusion evaporation reactions, going to heavy systems, and then the angular momentum distributions, fusion and transfer around barrier. And uh, I'm very much interested in this uh, gas fill separator and uh, Vasilisa uh, uh, velocity separator. Basically, super heavy element research and uh, transformium spectroscopy, which is being carried out. And uh, uh, Dubna, FLNR is uh, one of the premier institutes in this uh, field. And I visited here uh, three years ago. I came to TAN 11 conference and uh, visited uh, uh, Professor Eremin's uh, group for a couple of days. And it's a really fantastic uh, uh, center. And we look forward to fruitful collaboration, mutual collaboration, so that some people can come from here to our institute also, Accelerator Center, and do research. And the Scientific Forum in Dubna gave a new impulse to cooperation between India and JNR. Scientists discussed in their reports priority trends of the scientific program of JNR and the main directions of research at institutions and laboratories of India. The time has come for closer contacts. The conclusion results of the forum were given in a round table discussion. I'm very happy that this document has been signed and I do hope that uh, this will be only the first step, that from here the relationship will be built up and it will grow and uh, there will be eventually an associate membership of India in joint, in joint institute. The conclusion results of the forum were given in a round table discussion. Leading experts expressed their impression of the visit to the laboratories where scientists from India saw new opportunities for their research. Contacts with colleagues were established during the event. 
Meanwhile, meetings of scientific experts in the Indian departments of energy, science and education have already been scheduled. I would also, I would also like to say that uh, we would welcome, in fact we are looking forward to uh, involvement of the GINR experts in the India-based Neutrino Observatory project, which is a major one in India. The first very successful forum India GINR has finished. A remarkable exchange of experience was done. We had a splendid opportunity to cast a detailed broad glance on the scientific program of research of our Indian colleagues from leading institutions and universities of India and report about our trends of research and development of science at JNR. It was the first event of this kind and I'm sure that it will be the start of the new history in our relations. However, it is not today that we began our cooperation with Indian colleagues. We have maintained close contacts with Indian scientists on a very high level for quite a long time. Today it is a new step in their development. We have never received so many famous Indian scientists before, whose names are related to the elementary particle theory, nuclear physics and condensed matter physics.